Well, hi there, my Boomer Shooter friends. Super welcome to this video. Guys, today we're checking out a couple of Boomer Shooters that I actually don't think you ever heard of. Nonetheless, even if you heard of them, the gameplay I recorded turned out to be pretty damn enjoyable. So let's do this. Dark vs. Rogue. This is very much a roguelike, set in some beautiful first-person shooter retro graphics. I actually did play this game a long time ago on stream, but I really, really, really struggled and I couldn't really figure out how to progress in the game. Now, however, it's gonna be different. We're gonna do this. So the first thing, that really hits you here is the beautiful beautiful graphics ah oh, it's so beautiful this game so if i remember correctly there's literally nothing that you can do here this is just your hub this is where you wake up when you die we are supposed to have some sort of yeah we have a map in the right corner which we're going to have to keep track on to know where we have been and so on so the thing with this game is that it uses stamina so you can't just go mashing and rushing like crazy because you're gonna run out of stamina then and then you won't be able to escape and you will die simple as that okay we're doing good we're doing good oh my god i cannot believe i did not take a single hit from them good, 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 i mean good, good job slim good freaking job man look how beautiful this is the ui it's absolutely gorgeous Hmm, they were hacking this. Got no idea what I just did. Also, once we finally get a weapon, the only way to actually get ammo for it is by melee killing the enemies. So we're still gonna have to use this sword. What's nice though, is that I love, love the visual feedback of it. It's gorgeous. Oh, did you see that freaking double kill? Oh, I took damage again. I'm taking damage. Oh, shit, the gas. Uh-oh. Oh, no, this is to the to the second level. That's a no-go. I want to find a weapon before that. Let it, let there be a weapon. Ha-ha, 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 ha-ha. So the question is, should we do that on this? Yeah, screw it. What, we only have 12 shots? Tw we only got 24 shots, I mean. Slim can't do math. And let me tell you, to get this far that we are now... Yeah, we played for all over 45 minutes and I don't think we ever came this far. <laughs> okay, let's see the feedback of this weapon. Oh! Okay, I like it, I like it. Oh, the gas. The gas is hurting me. Oh, shit. I have to manually reload. Take it easy, Slim. Take it easy. Take in the environments. Breathe. He's down. He's down. Let's do some leeing, because we need some... Ammo as well, I dodged in the wrong way. Oh, I just got hit by him. Come on, Slim, you can do freaking better than that. Do we have the red key? We do have the red key. Oh, I need to just see if there is any canisters, supply crates or anything. Nope, nothing. Please just tell me there's a new weapon or something in here. Yeah, come on. Ooh, Doom Racer. Oh, baby. Okay. Sounded a little bit weak, but <laughs> let's see if it is. Oh, okay, you need to hold it in to fire faster, but I'm not going to waste the ammo on these guys. Oh! Got stuck in that crate. Oh, imagine if I went to the other level without exploring here. Ballistic. Increase max HP by 7. Yeah, thank you. Uh oh. You, I can melee. Back up. And melee. Just do it methodically, and it works. Uh oh.
Oh oh. Well, that's how you do it. That's how you do it. Into the level we go. Next level. Big Mama! Ah, okay, we beat the demo. That means it's review time! Okay, guys, that was Dark vs. Rogue. A very, very solid retro first-person shooter roguelite. The feedback of the guns felt great. The level design uh, left a little bit to ask for, but you enter these kind of different rooms with a bunch of enemies. I get the design of it. I just wonder how long will it be fun, and I really hope that the environments will change up in the full game. If it will just be space station like it was in the demo throughout the game ah it's gonna get boring so i really hope that changes up but it should it should right it was just this was just a demo nonetheless the upgrades the weapons the enemies everything mwah, chef's kiss really really fun to play it once you get the hang of how you should play it it took me about an hour to actually figure it out but once i figured it out it was a breeze and we actually finished the demo on the first try this time now Let's jump to the next one. Here we go, my friends. The game that we were supposed to play when I had to cancel the stream because I cracked my rib. Now we're gonna do it like this instead. This, my friends, is Helden Nison, and this is a Quake-like game with ray tracing. Let's do it. Hello, the gorgeous. Oh, we got a lot of gorgeous people here. Not anymore, we don't. Okay, so I have to say that the game actually looks really gorgeous. The ray tracing really shows, like the shadows, the lighting, it, it all looks very good. And, 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 we got the shot. oh shit, oh shit, 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 shit. We got a shotgun with the handle. We got the portfolio handle on our shotgun. That jumping sound though. <laughs> Ow, that hurts my rib. That hurts my rib. Ow. Don't laugh like that, Slim. I actually had to turn off world lighting on the ray tracing because it, it was taking too much horsepower. I was rocking 30 frames per second there, which is not playable. So the ray tracing, well, it takes horsepower. It takes horsepower, one could say. Okay, it's time for the handle shotgun. You can still see the ray tracing working, especially with the not world lights, like the the projectile there that was bouncing with the red lights looks gorgeous. Actually looks goddamn gorgeous. Okay, you know what I'm lacking? I'm lacking that feedback from the weapons. I'm really missing the feedback from the weapons. Like, I really love the weapons. I, I love how they're designed. I love how the levels are designed. I mean, this looks gorgeous. This just screams Quake. I love it. Absolutely love it. But the weapon animations, they're a bit choppy in some weird way. Like, it doesn't look like they're low frames, it just looks like they're missing some animation almost. See this? It, it doesn't really feel like I'm shooting a shotgun. It doesn't have to be over crazy feedback with the weapons or, any, or anything like that, but I have to feel that I'm shooting a shotgun at least, and I don't. Ooh, look at this! I mean, look at this! This is gorgeous! I love it! Really love it! Absolutely gorgeous! Fantastic! Oh shit, that's... Uh, <laughs> that actually scared me. Okay, we, are we gonna die here? Feels like there's a bunch of enemies here. Luckily, the enemy projectiles are very slow, so even I can dodge some of them. If I can dodge some of them, that means they are really slow. Light armor, box of rockets, light armor. <gasps> rockets? Does that mean we're about to get a rocket launcher? Huh? Does that mean we're about to get a rocket launcher? Holy crap, there's a ton of enemies. See, I, li I like the level design. I like those spinning platforms. I like this verticality right here. I like the design of the weapons as well. I just don't, don't really like the feedback of them. But I would be lying if I said I wasn't having a good time with the game. Because I am. 
This is fun to play. It actually feels a little bit, just a little bit, like uh, Sorge. Sorge set in a Quake universe. Especially with the slow projectiles and everything. Makes it feel a bit like Sorge. And Sorge, we like. Right, Seal Boy? Right? <laughs> okay, where are they? Everywhere! They're fucking everywhere, Slim! Also, you see as the enemies, enemies jump and stuff, they got slow projectiles, they jump like crazy. Very much like Sorge. <laughs> nice. <laughs> nice, I gotcha, I gotcha. You were trying to flee, huh? <gasps> this is actually a beautiful looking rocket launcher. Oh, the rocket. Oh, oh, they, oh, oh. I was gonna say that the rockets, they're, they're dropping. It's a bullet drop on the projectiles, but they're actually homing. And it was me dragging them down. It's homing rockets, see? Oh, that's cool. That is really cool. In we go, baby. Oh. Okay, this is fun. This we like. Woohoo! One might say that I'm very easily impressed, but honestly, I really, really like this level design. I think it's super cool. I, I feel like I feel at home here. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Exploring every little corner. You uh, typically, typically no. By accident? Yep, this time I did. Oh, it's just mashing the alternative fire. That's so cool. That's really cool. I like that power up. Imagine Slim getting good at video games. Ha! That would be the day. Guys, I'm gonna end it here. I think we got a good first impression of what the game is, so... It's review time! Okay, my friends, that was held in nice and A very simple Quake-like, if I may say so. But still, it was pretty damn fun. I really liked it. I love my Quake-like games, if you haven't noticed already. They don't really have to be overly complex or anything. They can be somewhat copycats, as long as they have something unique to the formula. Let's say new enemies, new type of level design, something tweaky-weaky with the power-ups. You know, something that makes it unique and its own thing. Then I'm all down for it. However, the weapons, they need some tweaking. I need to have more feedback on them. The animations, they felt a little not finished almost. And don't be afraid of making the enemies, like, you know, their animation go... Whoa, whoa. You know, so you can really feel that you are shooting with a shotgun, as an example. They don't necessarily have to stop rushing towards you or stop shooting you, if that interrupts the difficulty of the game, the balance of the game, but just the animation. It doesn't matter if they shoot at the same time as they go, Wah! Just make them do it so that you can feel the power of the weapons that you're shooting. Now what do you say we jump to the next game? I'm so sorry to interrupt you, I hope you're enjoying the video. But I would really like to know, if you're enjoying this type of video, please leave a comment down below. Because there goes a lot of effort into making one of these. Way more than one might think. So drop a comment, should I continue these series or should I just stop them completely? I would love to know. And if you're feeling like, hmm, I need more of this, I haven't had enough, I just can't wait for Slim to drop a new video all the time, consider joining the Discord. It's linked in all the videos in the description. There is a bunch of fantastic people in there that are just waiting to discuss games and anything surrounding life in general. Also, don't forget to hit that like, subscribe, and dislike the video if you don't like it. I don't mind. I would love to know. Okay, my friends, it's time we did some Soul Slinger Envy of Death. This game, I'm not 100% sure exactly what it is, but it looks a hell of a lot like Witchfire. Witchfire is dropping pretty soon, and I will definitely be playing that one. But until then, let's check out Soul Slinger. Ooh, look at these beautiful modern graphics. Wowie, wowie. Slim likes. Oh, we did it. <laughs> okay. Ooh, did you see that reload animation? Oh, it looks like we can fast reload also. Let me check, let me check, let me check. Oh, nice. Okay, I'm liking this. I'm liking this. I mean, it looks kind of gorgeous, but it does look a little, a little cluttery. Oh shit! 
Or at least they're cannon fodder. These cannon fodder. These are just old and lifeless soul fragments. Can't wait. People anymore. Just twisted shadows. Okay, so they are not people anymore. Just twisted shadows. My sensitivity might actually be a little bit high. But I'm a soul slinger, so I don't need low sensitivity. I'm fast! Fast as the wind. Okay, I'm really digging the environments. Sure as hell doesn't look like the old west. Which means the king must be nearby. What? What's nearby? I didn't catch that. I was shooting. I hate when they talk mid-battle mid like this. Pick up the coins, pick up the coins. God damn, pick up the coins. Blueprint? In this place? Huh. Huh? It's something I can build. Something that'll help. Okay. Oh, look at that guy. Beautiful. <laughs> you take the souls back to your master. The rest of you kill him. I'm liking this game more and more. Definitely liking this game. Or at least I'm liking the design of everything. You know, I, I like my skeletons and my demonic sounding skeleton kings. Ooh, okay. Load your gun with powerful explosive bullets. Can only pick that. Activate explosive rounds. Okay. Ooh, those are some explosive bullets. Very nice. Seem to have infinite bullets at least, so that's always something. Okay, I'm, I'm just gonna go here. <gasps> Whenever you take damage, so do the enemies near you. Ooh, all skills and abilities are immediately recharged and ready to use. I don't need that right now. You gain 5% damage resistance for the rest of this attempt. Okay, this is a roguelite. <laughs> I'm gonna go with that one. Nice little inventory, by the way. I like the graphics on this guy. Where did you come from? Where did you go? That's my favorite song if you haven't noticed already. <laughs> Blazing Essence. Electric Essence. Okay, so we get to choose, much as in Voidborn, which path we want to go to upgrade. So do we want to upgrade the Electric or the Blazing? I'm gonna go with Blazing. More cartel. Yeah, I felt that they were gonna spawn behind me okay okay they got stunned by the electric but it i thought they were gonna die they did not die what the hell is emporium let's check that out huh die bless me soul an envoy of death or, like I says in this business, a customer! Welcome to Dead Eye McGee's Emporium! I wasn't solid voice acting for that character. I liked him. Liked him. And he looks pretty damn neat, if I may say so myself. Okay, we're off to a good start with this game. Instantly restores 25% of your health. Nope. Ultimate ability, press 3 to instantly turn nearby non-boss enemies into fallen fool's gold. Oh, <laughs> bad to the bone. Look at that death. He looks so cool. I really, really love the design of everything in this game. Okay, so we upgraded here so that all the enemies will have red glowing outlines now. Which will definitely help us see them. I wonder if this is where I'm supposed to go now though. I hope so. No. That is the 18th time you have tried that. I fail to understand why you have been this would be any different. Oh, this is where I'm supposed to go. Okay, so pretty much everything that we collect are for future upgrades. So we want to collect. We want those coins and they disappear if we're not fast enough at collecting them. Also really like this red outline. High recommend if you're ever gonna try this, get the red outline. Helps a lot. Oh shit, the gold. I forgot the gold. No. Load up with electricity. Oh shit. 
<laughs> okay. I can't see anything. Get those coins, get those coins, get those coins, coins. Ouch. I'm gonna go with the boss because I have good health. How many times are we going to do this? Oh my. Don't. How can you be so damn good, Slim? Trying to focus on one guy at a. Oh, he wouldn't dash! On one guy at a time. So we can get one of them. Oh, okay, it dashed. Oh, it dashed. One is dead. They are scarier than they might look. <laughs> oh my, we got it. We, we got it. We got it. <laughs> Thank you for playing our demo. That was just a taste of what's coming in the full version. That means it's review time. But overall, a really nice roguelike. I love the, all the cutscenes. I love the storytelling. I love how it introduces all the new mechanics so that you somewhat kind of understand them. And I really love the design of everything. I love my demon skeletons as much as the next guy. However, the game does need to get better optimized. It did not run well at all and I had to lower the graphics. And the revolver could be a bit more punchier. Now, I did not get to try any other weapons out. So it could be a case of the revolver just being like that. I don't know. The abilities, they were pretty cool though especially the exploding one i like the visuals of that however the electric bullets <laughs> the whole screen just turned white i had no idea what's, what was going on honestly but it worked a little bit of tweaking here and there and this might actually turn out to be a fantastic game now let's jump to the next all right all right all right next up my friends we got perilius warp and this one is actually brand new to me i never heard or seen it before but apparently it was released on the 20th of october in 2020 let's do this okay so the game just kind of threw us in uh, it, it does have some kind of story I, i'm not really sure what it's all about but i'm here mostly for the gameplay to see if the game is good satisfying looks nice and all that good stuff and let me tell you so far the game actually looks really good there is something to wish from the enemy designs but the weapons the, the environments it all looks good so let's see what it has to offer more for us what someone threw something at me Right, it reminds me a little bit of Ill Will, the enemy designs. I don't know why. It just does. It just does, okay? Don't blame me. What? Why won't you let me push that button? Okay, let's let's fall down here then. Ah! Oh, I made it. Oh, hello, baby. Are we upgrading it or what, what's going on? Did you just take my shotgun? No, I think we're upgrading it. I think we're upgrading it. My stomach tells me it's upgraded. Press mouse 2 for alternate fire. Okay, I really like that. I like that upgrade. That was cool. That was cool. Oh, let me try it here. Okay, it's, it's just a double shot. So are we going in here? I don't know, man. Whoa! This looks cool. I like the water. I'm missing some kind of bullet bullet trace. No, I can't see my bullets at all. And there's barely any flash from the from the barrels either. Oh shit, you scared the living freaking crap out of me. Holy macaroni balls, that was scary. This reminds me of Doom 3 and I'm scared. I don't like this. I'll take everything back that I said about the game. I don't like this game at all. This is scary. Oh! Again? Again? Are you fucking kidding me, game? Stop it. What the hell are you doing with me? We can break boxes. 10 out of 10 game. Ouch. That hurt. I lost half my health on that. They're gonna throw a bunch of enemies at me now. What the hell? He was stuck through the ground. Don't think that was meant to be like that. But we killed him, fellas. We killed him. What the hell is that? Oh! Whoa, look at this! Woo! Oh! 
<laughs> Love it. Oh! Nice, we cut his arm off. We got a bit of action going on here, guys. Give me a minute, I just gotta clear this one out. That could be the worst grenade launcher I've ever played with, though. It's absolutely awful. You're gonna throw some big guys at me now. Yep. Oh shit. Have we been here before? I don't think so. Oh shit. I feel like things are about to go down because there's a lot of health here. I'm a little scared. Cannot remember the last time we saved. You are, are you gonna dodge me? Are you gonna dodge me all day? There is no problem with uh, taking damage feedback at least. I can clearly see whenever I take damage. I'm a survivor. I'm gonna make it. And every day, what is this? Oh. oh, of course I found that now. Always find the, the, the power-ups whenever you're out of danger. Typical, typical boomer shooters. Oh, baby, 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 is this a minigun? It definitely is a minigun. Ooh, imagine some bullet tracing on that. If I could actually see the bullets fly out of the barrels. Okay, not the most effective minigun, but I imagine if we crank it up, like hold it down a little bit better, it might it might do better. Oh, goal completed! And that, my friends, means it's review time! Okay, my friends, that was Perilius Warp, and I would not really say that this is a Quake-like game, but it kind of fits the element. Not really, definitely the least out of all the games that we played today. It almost felt a little bit like Doom 3 in my eyes. I know some of you might not agree with me on that, but hey, that's my opinion, okay? It was a fun ride, though. I really liked it. It was slower paced, and it didn't really have that satisfying guns or enemy feedback nor did it have bullet tracing we would have which would have been a really really nice addition to the game but it was still kind of exciting kind of scary fun navigating through the maze like levels that were actually pretty good designed so if you are looking for something with a little bit of a slower pace than a quake like well i would actually recommend this holy macaroni balls you actually made it all the way to the end of the video thank you so much and i really hope you enjoyed it and if you want even more don't skip these